everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to another haul this one is entirely spc i had like five orders and a buy sell trade order all come in at the same time from stackery so i am so excited there's so much beautiful stuff in here to show you i'm yeah i just can't wait to show you um uh, i will be showing the april mystery right at the end so you can easily watch 99 percent of this video without having that spoiled for you but otherwise let's go so this is quite a few orders five maybe uh so what i've done is i've just kind of bundled everything together and i'm just going to go through it in kind of sections rather than each individual order uh so i'm going to do all the freebies first then i'm going to do kind of extra stuff then kits then foil and then i've got the april mystery to show as well so let's get into it because this is a hefty stack of stuff to get through so the first thing i wanted to show is i got a cute andrea no which is adorable thank you andrea um i've never had one of the andrea no's before so that was like such a cute surprise so um some of these are freebies that just come like within uh so like this is a kit freebie rather than an order freebie um but i'll just show it anyway so uh this is just a black uh text we've got uh, quite a few of these these are adorable freebies because they're hollow but they're i really love these quote boxes like this is a really good quote that i could use um in my sidebar so i need to kind of remember that i've got this to try and remember to use it but that is adorable and then we've got another one here and then this one is your voice was the soundtrack of my summer so again in the hollow foil but that is so cute as well and then we've got this one uh which i have twice so yeah five orders <laughs> which says summer loving which is so cute as well so that's adorable and then we'll come back to those because i actually ordered those and um, so these are all just uh extras maybe it's to do with how much i spent possibly i don't know enough about the spc freebies um because i haven't been like a long you know i haven't been shopping from spc for a really long time because of being in the uk so uh this might be to do with how much i spent but yeah because there's quite a few of these uh so this is in gold these are some gold scripts i've got it again in gold and again in gold and then i've got it here too in silver and then this one uh this again may have been to do with how much i spent this is a hollow script freebie as well so those are really lovely i really like spc scripts i really like the fonts that are used i think they're really lovely this hollow is very hollow um then uh one of the orders i picked up a few glitter header add-ons for some of the kits so with spc kits they've gone through a reformat and glitter headers now come within the kits which is great for people like me who forget to order them separately to be honest uh but i have picked up a couple of older kits where the kit was in stock but the glitter headers were not in stock <laughs> and uh, or i've picked up like through the bst uh which is the buy sell trade group where people weren't also selling the glitter headers and i kind of forgot that they're not included in the older kits um so i needed to pick up glitter header extras this is actually what meant that i managed not to shop in the recent um sale that spc did where you could get the uh, mini kits and ultimate kits like i think they were misfit kits for a really 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 great price and it was so tempting but they don't and andrea was really great at explaining it's from pre glitter headers and i don't have a load of glossy glitter headers knocking around i only have matte ones and i would prefer that the whole kit was glossy if i'm gonna do it so i managed to be strong and not a not order <laughs> but obviously i wasn't strong until that point um so yeah so these are the ones i picked up i specifically went for these colors because i need them to match a few different kits that have some green and some pink so i kind of picked up ones where i thought okay these colors kind of match and i'll just have a look and see which ones work so what i'll probably do is like take the green and yellow from here for example and put it with a pink or something like that so that's something for me to do at the end of this haul then we've got a series of kits so um as i'm in the uk i was about to say i try not to order from spc too often but to be honest i order from spc a lot um but i will only order kits from spc which i can't get over here and that's not to say that i don't think that andrea does a great job with the art that is available to everyone because because she does but i you know for me it is a lot of money uh, so what i do is i have spc stuff shipped to a stackery and if you want to talk to me about stackery uh, if you're in the uk you're more than welcome to i also have a referral code where you can get money off uh, you get i think ten dollars off and as do i as a disclaimer but um you know i would rather like give other people money to save um so yeah feel free to talk to me about that in the comments down below or message me on instagram if you want to but basically whilst that you do save some money um i don't save loads of money by going through stackery because i put everything through the customs that it should be because that's what i would prefer to do uh which means i still have to pay a lot of money and i have to pay import fees to the uk over a certain amount and that kind of stuff so um it doesn't actually ultimately save me money it's just 
yeah so basically i order from spc for kits that are exclusive art usually by jess kitnish girl jess who is my favorite artist uh and uh, and yeah so that's basically what i do i just order exclusive kits or disney kits that i can't get easily in the uk basically so that's what you're that's what you're about to see pretty much <laughs> so the first one we've got here is batu bound which honestly is one of my favorite kits of all time um so i I wouldn't say I'm like the biggest Star Wars fan, though we are actually rewatching them now. So we finished Marvel uh, maybe a month, maybe two months ago, like rewatching all of Marvel. And we've now moved on to Star Wars uh, because I've actually not seen the Star Wars movies that many times. But my boyfriend is a big Star Wars fan. Uh, for his birthday last year, I did like a whole Star Wars themed day and I dressed up as R2-D2, not with like an R2-D2 dress. I feel like otherwise that sounds really weird that I would just like dress up as a droid. But <laughs> yeah, so I'm not like the biggest Star Wars fan, but I know who the characters are. I have seen all the films. I do watch the TV shows like we're watching Bad Batch at the moment. Um, this one is based on Galaxy's Edge, which is in Disney World and Disneyland California. And we are hoping to go to Disney World, <laughs> fingers crossed, um, within the next couple of years. So I picked this up. I don't know whether I will save it for that or whether I'll use it like to celebrate something to do with Stuart or to celebrate May the 4th at some point, though I've missed it for this year. Um, but anyway, I friggin love this kit. It's so beautiful. <laughs> um, I have also in the past ordered ultimate kits from SPC, but I've switched to the mini ultimately because I'm ordering a lot more now and I need to try and save some money. So I have switched to the mini. And then if I kind of look at a kit and think, oh, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to need a few more boxes, then I will pick up an additional label sampler. Um, so that's kind of how I'm doing it. Uh, and somebody who watches my videos recommended that they get two label samplers with mini kits. So that's something I do. So thank you uh, for recommending that. I did count the number of boxes and based on like how I normally plan, I do actually think a mini kit is okay as long as I just use like every single sticker that's available. Um, but uh, you know, if I was going to use this when I'm in Disney, I would probably have extender boxes. So I would need a lot more. So that's why I went for the two samplers. I hope that that will make sense. Anyway, so let me show you the kit. It is this freaking gorgeous. I love the fashion people boxes. We've got the blue and green milk. We've got the My Disney Experience app. We've got a box of Galaxy's Edge here. Jess, this art is freaking insane. You've absolutely nailed it. I love everything about it. So the format is going to be pretty much the same for all of these. So I might go through the others a bit more quickly. But yeah, it's, look at this deco. And so yeah, this is a newer format. So it comes with the glitter headers included. We've got a lot of little things. And I've been re-watching J. Crew Plans. Uh, if you are newer to the planner community, you may not know who Jess is. Um, but Jess... Uh, used to work at SPC and is friends with um, Andrea and had a really big YouTube channel but she doesn't do Plan With Me's anymore but I do actually still watch her old Plan With Me's um, and she w was really good at kind of showing how you could plan with a load of little things so I'm going to try and sort of use inspiration from her planning style when I use these little things uh, when I use these mini kits from SPC. We've also got this absolutely gorgeous bottom washi and then what I'm thinking as well is this box is it's just plain so if I needed more boxes I could trim this down because I could still write on that so I think that will work well then in terms of the extras there's quite a few so I did pick up uh two of the fashion box add-ons mainly because this one looks like me because it's got brown hair and then my boyfriend has blonde hair uh, so that's why I've kind of gone for both because I absolutely love that there is a guy box in here uh, and look and this is the way like I actually bought him a top for his birthday which is a Mandalorian top which I don't know if it says this is the way or if it's just, it might just have the Mandalorian on it but we really like the Mandalorian like I'm obsessed with Grogu so I wanted to make sure that I picked this one up so that he could be blonde and then I could be brunette then this was the kit freebie maybe no, this was the kit freebie, I think, which is an additional scene. This would just be so great for when you're in Disney and you have extender boxes everywhere and you could just add all the boxes because there's so many. Or I could maybe make it last multiple weeks because there's so many boxes. Um, and then I think I picked this one up additionally because this is um, a birthday add-on which has the Disney balloons and a Death Star cake, which is fantastic. So I could probably... I was about to say I can make this last two weeks, but I don't have enough boxes, so I can't do that. <laughs> so I would just need to use it all in one. Then something that Andrea also allowed... I, I feel like I might need to pick this kit up again, but that's like... Do I really need to? But I just really love it. Um, then I also picked up... So these that Andrea did specifically for this kit, which is these gorgeous doodles. Um, so these are new to Andrea's shop. I really love them. And these are Disney ones, like all in the 
colorway of this kit so again this would be perfect for her in Disney so I think I probably am going to save this kit for around when we go to Disney even though I have a million Disney kits but this one is so cute. Uh, I might have to pick this cat up again, to be honest. <laughs> um, then the label add-on, I did pick up two, as I explained. And then I also picked up the bottom washi add-on again, because you get another box. It means you cut the washi in half. You can probably then use the washi as extra boxes, that kind of thing. So absolutely love that. One of my favourite kits of literally all time. <laughs> then the next one we have is the superhero kit, which again, I absolutely love. I'm thinking of using this for Stuart's birthday this year um, because we rewatched all of Marvel and this one is a bit more of a like indoorsy kit and the way that the pandemic is going, his September birthday will probably still be spent mostly inside. So I think that this would work well. Um, I just want to give a shout out to Jess here at this point, um, Kitnish Girl Jess, who drew this art. Um, so she did a, 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 I think it was in a hall where she was showing this kit and she was talking about how like people had called her out for for mixing Marvel and DC together and how they wished it was more Marvel and Jess actually doesn't really like Marvel so I just want to say a huge thank you to Jess for still drawing something that you know other people would enjoy I'm really sorry for Jess that she got that kind of feedback um I personally am more of a Marvel than a DC person but I do actually like DC as well and my boyfriend likes DC a lot so I think that this works really well for him um this art was available more widely like it wasn't SPC exclusive but I found with other shops they pulled through the functionals to be really brown and I really liked it that Andrea did it with colour so that's why I went with the SPC version so again I think this is the mini kit version so we've got the full boxes just so cute and again blondie boy so uh Stuart is represented there this is so cute because we've got like Disney plus some pizza which is absolutely what we would have we've got this scene which I think is from um Infinity War I think Jess said there's this little Captain America like pop mug the, uh, I just love I really love this kit I think it's Jess just did such a good job bringing in so many different things she's so creative um so again we've got the glitter headers included we've got the like add-on boxes there and the bottom washi date covers etc so the add-ons I got here so I think this is yeah this is the kit freebie which is a uh, a bit more of a DC so let me just find the four boxes again for you Ooh. So this one, it's so it can replace Wakanda forever. Uh, higher, further, faster. I can't remember if that, I think Jess said that was Captain Marvel. Um, yeah, so, uh, and then you've also got here, if you wanted like more of a DC box, like with Batman and HBO Max, we don't have HBO Max in the UK. So I will probably use the Marvel one because we do have Disney Plus and that's where we watch Marvel. But yeah, so that's like the kit freebie. Um, then I did get the box add on with the brunette so that I could have me. And this box is so cute. Like I don't have kids, but how adorable. Um, and then I also picked up the birthday add on so that, you know, I could use it for, for Stuart's birthday. So I think this is when I'm going to use that. Then I picked up the normal label sampler and then there was another label sampler which brings in a blue and a black which isn't in the kit already and that's great because that's loads more boxes. <laughs> and then I also picked up the bottom washi add on there. So an absolutely stunning kit. I'm so happy with that one. Then the next one I picked up is the graduation kit. So um, I'm not a student. For those of you, if anyone new is watching this video, um, I I work <laughs> in a job that's quite complicated to understand. But I work in education and I'm on this, like, <laughs> frankly, at this point, longer than 18 month um, apprenticeship, which is like a, a quite sort of um, it's like a degree level, um, but not quite a full degree, like a mid degree uh, level apprenticeship in management. And it's so much work. <laughs> And I'm quite close to the end now, but it's still a lot of work. I've still got a fair number of bits to go. I've got like an exam to take and a presentation to write and some assessments to go through. Um, and I do have a graduation kit that I got from Paper Sheet Plans a couple of years ago, but it's very graduation-y. So like it's it's full on like in your robes and cap and gown and stuff. And when I finish my apprenticeship, we're not going to have, a, you know, a cap and gown, like a mortarboard and and robes ceremony like there won't be anything we will just get a certificate and but I never I didn't plan um back when I was at uni so I did actually have like four graduations <laughs> and that's maybe a story for another time um though I only went to two of them but you know I did graduate multiple times but I didn't plan then so I I didn't ever actually get to use a graduation kit which is kind of sad and so I did pick up this kit because I really like it and it's really cute and it's kind of got like planner themes in it but it's very, very graduation-y <laughs> and that ultimately is not the experience that I'm going to have. So I was just going to use it, but the longer that the apprenticeship goes on, the more I feel that that kit isn't as appropriate for me. And then 
Andre came out with this. This is exclusive art from Jess and it's really at home style. And I felt like actually this was maybe more appropriate for the experience that I'm going to have. Like, do I hope that me and Stuart will still kind of celebrate me getting to the end of this frigging long apprenticeship? Yeah, I do. And so I felt that this kit would work really well. Sorry, that was like a five minute explanation. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Um, but I love this kit is so unique. Like the color combo is beautiful. I love that, you know, that the fashion box, it's just so chill. It's not, it's not really formal. It's just chilled. It's like chill in your living room. So I'm really happy. I'm really happy with this kit and I think it's a good move. And I will save the, the other graduation kit I have because where I work, like I do work at graduation. So if I really wanted to, it would be appropriate for that. <laughs> or if someone else I know graduates, but I don't know anyone else who's going to graduate soon. But yeah, it's so cute. It's just really different. Again, it's in the mini kit format. Again, this plain box means I could probably cut this up. Then for the um, extra stuff, so this was the freebie that came with it. So we've got the alternate skin and hair, absolutely beautiful. And again, alternate skin and hair there. Uh, not hair, <laughs> just skin tone. Then I did pick up multiple add on boxes. So even though, like with the box, like, you know, she is brunette, but you know i just wanted to have the option i don't really th i think the add-on boxes are really affordable at spc so i thought i'll just pick it up um to get the brunette box there and then i picked up the blonde box so that Stuart could be represented in the blonde box his hair is not quite that long unless i <laughs> don't cut it due to lockdown but yeah it's not quite that long but i really love having mailboxes in kids then obviously these kid boxes are here i don't have kids but i think they're so cute like oh so cute i could cry <laughs> so i don't really know what i'll do with them because whether i want to include them in the kit or save them or i don't really know then the other stuff i picked up i just picked up one of the label samplers because this will just be planning a normal week so i don't think i'll need the extra boxes and i picked up a label sampler as well so that is the i, th I don't know what the kit is called sorry i just realized i didn't say it's called we did it <laughs> then we have <laughs> magical 50th which yeah so if you're new to this channel i'm a huge disney fan like massive and i loved that there was just this one week where like three different arts got released that were related to disney like so freaking cute and this is exclusive art from jess for spc and i love jess i love disney it's like everything i love came together I freaking love this. So this is for the 50th anniversary of Disney World, which is this October, but it's going on for 18 months. And I hope that we can go to Disney during that time. Um, part of me thinks I should have picked up the ultimate for this, but like on the ultimate kits are so many more boxes that I don't need them all. So hopefully I did the right thing here. I picked up a couple of add-ons, which I'll show you in a second, but this kit is so beautiful. Like glossy paper. I don't mind glossy paper, especially not SPC glossy. But this kit, I think, really benefits from being in glossy because of the, like, the way that the colours get picked up is so cute. Uh, then look at the deco, like, it's, it's stunning. It, Jess, <laughs> please, you're so great. Um, this bottom washi is gorgeous. I actually didn't pick up the label add-on for this because I don't feel that this bottom washi can be cut in half. Then this was the kit freebie, which is this absolutely gorgeous fashion box. I then also picked up the brunette version. Um, I, I I think this box is absolutely gorgeous. I just, I tend to like boxes to, you know, kind of look like me for when I go through my planner, but I, I do save um, alternate boxes as well to use, like bring in with other kits and um bring in like multiple boxes and stuff so i will try and make use of all of them but yeah just so cute then i picked up so this was the normal label add-on and then this again andrea did it where there was other colors in the kit that weren't what well, other colors that kind of came out in the four boxes that weren't pulled through in the functional so she's done the additional label add-on so that's great because that's a lot more boxes and then this was also something you could pick up, which was, again, like with the Batu Bound, it's the doodles in the matching colorway. I don't know if I'm going to save this when we go to Disney or whether I want to use it like this October for the anniversary. Um, I haven't decided and I don't know at what point I'm going to make a decision, to be honest. So, yeah, because I feel like my problem with Disney kits is I just always want to save them in case there's a more perfect time to use it. But I do have a lot of Disney kits that I plan to use when I, we go to Florida. So I will have to really think about it. I may just go ahead and use this one. I'm not sure. Then I thought at this point I would show the doodles that I picked up because Andrea has recently been releasing doodles and she released some Disney ones and I loved them. So I had to pick them up. Um, these ones I feel are all very kind of suited to like the park and stuff. And, you know, I have already started doing prep work. So like, I don't know anything about going to Disney World. Like I never believed I would ever be able to go. So I haven't, 
I haven't really done research into it and then we're kind of in a position to go because a holiday we were saving for this year obviously didn't happen so you know we we kind of already have a load of savings because we had to go for that because it was for a wedding so um that's kind of how we're in this position to go and I yeah but I've like I've never really researched about it I've never really watched videos or anything so now it's like trying to sort of really help me understand what Florida is like I'm watching a lot of YouTube videos and I've read a book on it and stuff so yeah so I have been doing some planning and I do like to mark that in my planner and I do have some Disney stickers obviously but you know more like characters and stuff I don't really have what I would consider like planning stickers but I actually think that these would be really cute to mark when I'm doing research or when we're planning stuff for the holiday so I think these are really cute so we've got these maps we've got these ears we've got the magic bands got the um like a disney lounge fly bag which i do have one a really glittery aqua one uh we've got like a kind of passporty one and then the castle so i think these are absolutely gorgeous i'm really excited to use these um because i have obviously already been marking the work i've been doing and i haven't been happy with the stickers so really thrilled to have those in my hand now <laughs> Then the next one is called Control Alt Delete. I did debate about getting this one. Like, I think it's gorgeous. And this box is like one of my favorite boxes. Um, like one of my favorite fashion. Girls. Again, this is um exclusive kitnish girl dress art. And yeah, I really I just really like I love this this fashion person. But I felt that the kit, I was like, well, when would I use it? I don't really know. So I've refrained up to this point. And then I saw Samantha plans and reads. So Samantha does have a YouTube channel though. I think she's dealing with some moving and stuff. So she hasn't posted videos in a while, uh, but she has done one posting on Instagram and she posted her spread in this kit. And I was like, well, now I need it. <laughs> so I did go ahead and pick it up. I'm actually thinking I might go ahead and use this. So I I'm not sure kind of when I'll edit this video, but I'm filming this on a Sunday before I have a week off and I'm planning to like just be really chill and very in my like retro life um, in this week and um, with some stuff I'm planning to do and this kit would be really cute for that. So I actually might go ahead and use it. Um, but yeah, it's basically a kind of like 90s vibe, I would say. So this was the freebie that you get, which says le levitating kitty. I think the kitty just looks like she's on a table. So I don't really understand how she looks like a levitating kitty. But anyway, she's cute. Um, and then, yeah, so we've got two fashion people in this, which is great. Uh, we've got this really cute keyboard. We've got this kind of like care bear style bear like I did have a canopy over my bed <laughs> I was one of those kids um I didn't quite have a a computer like this but yeah this is not that far away from what my bedroom looked like <laughs> so I think this is absolutely adorable and this is in a uh, newer format so it has got the glitter headers included which is great because I kind of forgot uh that it was included the label add-on was not in stock but the colors are so pastel that I do have leftovers from an SBC kit that I used last year and I feel like probably some of those would work enough in here that I could use them again this is plain enough that I can split this up so that is super cute there may have been a girl like a fashion add-on but um it, I was picking this up really late so I I didn't like there wasn't a fashion add-on in stock but I love both these fashion people and I would still love to include those two so that's control or delete then I picked up two worlds um I actually have this kit as a printable from Planet Choco and I used it in my Pell studio which I used for about three weeks in July 2020 and I still have loads of the spares because it was a B6 planner, so I wasn't really using the full kit. I basically just need to reprint the, the full boxes, right? And the glitter headers. Like, there's not loads of work I would need to do. But this kit was on sale on, like, a 50% discount. And I was like, that would just save me getting out my silhouette and cutting it again because it's one of my least favourite activities. Like, I really, I tend to, if I'm going to use printables, I tend to do it, like, in bulk. And I have no other plans to use any printables right now. So I was like, I'm just going to pick it up and it's just going to save me, <laughs> save me a, uh, a thing. So this is in ultimate format because I think this was the one that was on sale. I absolutely love this kit. So again, it's Kitnish Jess art, but it, it wasn't exclusive, but I've explained why I picked it up. I think the colours in this are just gorgeous. That yellow, this is my favourite, this is my favourite shade of yellow. Like, it's gorgeous. I am going to try and push through and use this this year because I really loved how it came out in my B6 planner. I just didn't use the B6. So I really want to try and use this in probably August. Yeah, I feel like to me this kit is very Augusty. So yeah, as this is the ultimate format, you can see it's a bit of an older format. So it doesn't include the glitter headers and 
I doubt the glitter headers were in stock. So I need to, and it didn't have the label add on either, but this bottom washi is gorgeous. So that's okay. Um, but yeah, so again, that's why I picked up those glitter header extras. So I can kind of, I think the greens and the yellows and the pinks, there's something in here that will work. So that's why I picked those up. So that is absolutely gorgeous. That is two worlds. <laughs> this one's adorable. So this is the uh, Oh Bother kit, which Andrea had just draw for her baby Theo's birthday. And at first I was like, oh, you know, I don't have a baby and I don't know when I would use, like, I, I like Winnie the Pooh, but I wouldn't say I'm like obsessed with Winnie the Pooh. And I was like, oh, this kit is so freaking cute, but when am I going to use it? I need to try and be strong and not get it. But it, the words SPC, exclusive art and Jess in the same sentence mean I'm probably going to pick it up. And the boxes are so adorable, like the kid boxes. I was like, I'm just going to save this until I have kids. Like, that's fine. Um, so this is so cute. It's like, oh, it's just adorable. I, I can't really say anything else about it other than it's so cute. So again, I picked up the mini kit version. So we've got the glitter headers. So same format you've seen a couple of times. Again, I could write on that. So it's kind of what I'm thinking. Then I also picked up the label add-on and the um, washi add-on. And then, yeah, the boxes. So it's kid boxes and they're Piglet and Poo. <laughs> just so adorable like it's just everything i feel like you could also use this kit for a baby shower um and now i'm thinking about it i had a baby shower this year which i i have bought an another kit for but like you could yet definitely use that for a baby shower i could have maybe used this for a the baby shower that I went to but I'm probably gonna save it for forever um but yeah I picked up the blonde and the brunette because you know I'm not like you know I don't really know what's going to happen in the future, right? But if me and Stuart had kids, probably one of them or I don't know. I don't know how many kids we plan to have or if we'll even have kids or if I can even have kids. But you get my point. I just wanted to make sure our hair colours were represented. <laughs> then the next one is there's so many kids here, guys. Like I, I do have another haul planned and I thought I can just do them one in one. I was like, no, this is going to be a long video on its own. Um, So this is the Dala kit. So this is a reformat of art that was like from before my time shopping with SPC. And I, it's like Finding Nemo inspired. And when Andrea said that she was reformatting a load of the old Disney kits, I was so excited. <laughs> and I'm really glad this one was included. It's so cute. So we've got Dala here. We've got like a, this kind of Nemo inspired. Mine, 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 the seagulls say got like a bedroom it's a really cute kind of at homey one so i feel like i could use this you know at any time i don't have to save this i need to put that energy out into the world like you do not need to save this um so this one is the mini kit format as well so we've got deco there i these colors are stunning like purple and orange together is one of my favorite color combos and with the blue i love that here we've got the um address for the um i don't know what the address is for it's been, really been a long time since i've seen finding nemo but you know it's the address that um that dory like repeats um and then it's like a sandy bottom washi which is so cute so then in terms of what i picked up so i picked up the washi add-on because that is everything um and then i picked up the label add-on and then this was the freebie which i love when these are the freebies like an additional colorway because this is just great for me gives me additional boxes no extra money spent so super great so that is so cute and then we've got two more kits <laughs> and then a load of foil stick with me so then this one is the up kit again this is a reformat uh of one of the disney inspired kits so this is based on the pixar movie up we've got carl and ellie this is so cute we've got the house that my adventure but this is honestly adorable i'm thinking i might save this for like an anniversary with Stuart. uh i think i've got another kit planned for this year for our anniversary but i cannot think what it is off the top of my head uh but that's probably what i'll save this for this deco is a little bit big like i like to use deco along the top of my planner and this is a bit big and there's not enough so i might need to rethink that uh, again this is the recent mini kit format so you've seen this at this point a million times again love that easy to use then i picked up the washi add-on and the label add-on and then again the kit freebie was an additional colorway which as i said i'm very in favor of <laughs> then the last kit other than the april mystery but i'll show that at the end is gamer so this is again really cute kittenish jazz exclusive art etc etc and these colors like again this is where glossy just is freaking gorgeous this kit is so beautiful so we've got this really really vibrant shade of purple uh we've got like a, an old playstation a game boy like 
this glow up keyboard uh this is so cute i think i'll probably save this again for like a stuart birthday that's animal crossing pattern so cute um like nintendo switch i guess games there um but yeah i think this would be really cute for like stuart's birthday one year um because he is a gamer and like we i game a bit like i have a switch um and we cannot wait for when lego star wars comes out uh so you know we're like we play some stuff together but yeah this is oh my gosh oh my gosh kitten in headphones that's adorable um again recent mini kit format so you've seen it before but these colors are everything look at this washi like have you ever seen something so beautiful um so quite a lot of add-ons for this so this was the kit freebie which again i'm a I'm a big fan of a doodle freebie add-on because she's done like the switch and the controller and the laptop in the colorway so that's adorable we've got like rainbow bottom washi which is so cute we've got uh sorry uh if you can hear the shower uh we've got a couple of yeah I picked up two label add-ons because I thought if I'm using this for like Stuart's birthday or something then um it would be good for me to um have like more boxes then i picked up both of the box add-ons and again i like that we've got different colorways i wouldn't need them all um but yeah super cute so that is my kits what a mess of stuff to put away now um and then we've got foil and the april mystery so i'll show you those okay i did just stop filming because i thought you might be able to hear the shower i've kind of played it back for the last bit and i'm like i don't think you can hear it that much so i'm gonna carry on because i really do need to put this stuff away so hopefully it's not too bad <laughs> when we're playing it back so the next bit i've got is a load of foil so the first thing that i picked up was i honestly i cannot remember the names of foils i'm really sorry this one's a kind of like champagne-y color that might be what it's called um i think that spc foil is some of the best value foil out there um i know she gets it manufactured externally and i don't use foil that often in my spreads like i used it a bit more last year but i've kind of fallen off the wagon a bit so having a sort of slightly cheaper price point foil for me is a bit better but honestly at this point i really need to stop buying foil for a long time because i don't use it that often in my spreads and i have a lot of it so i need to really have a think about whether i need this much foil in my collection i also really like that spc does the wiggles because then you can just what i think i need to start doing is i pre-plan my kits so I put out, you know, okay, I'm going to use these kits for the rest of the year. And I change them around and stuff, but I do try and plan it out. And I need to start putting the foil in with them so that I remember to use it. Because otherwise my foil album sits up here, but my kit album sits downstairs, which is where I plan. So that's maybe something I need to do. Um, but this one, yeah, is just this really cute kind of like champagne-y gold. It's like a really light gold and I think it's gorgeous. Um, so you get these kind of like overlays, header overlays. you got two bougie boxes <laughs> bougie boxes and <laughs> bougie boxes then we've got scripts and icons some bow headers some kind of bow deco date numbers and then you get uh this is for like the label add-on and for the like bottom washi if you use them both so that is absolutely gorgeous i love this color and andrea was raving about it and i was like you're right andrea i need it so <laughs> that is so cute and then this was massively discounted why i picked it up which was a i think it's like a core foil mega foil bundle or something and it was like 50 percent off and so i was like okay i'm gonna pick it up i already picked up a few of these during black friday i don't need any more and we're not gonna talk about that um but yeah i just went went a bit crazy and i don't need this much foil but anyway so th a lot of these are hollow and i'm to be honest hollow is my least favorite of the core foils like i'm a gold and silver person really and i you know i do like hollow but i just don't like it as much like i really don't jump to it i've probably used it in like two spreads and i know that that's crazy because most people hollow is their favorite <laughs> um and so i was a bit disappointed that none of these had gold but like i got them for such a good price point it really it doesn't matter like <laughs> um so anyway i'm not going to take all of them out because frankly this video is like quite lengthy at this point and yeah and they're all like a wiggle so you get like overlays you don't get bougie boxy in the boxes I, why can't i say bougie boxes you don't get bougie boxy I'm just gonna stop saying it um in these because it's an older format i think um so the wiggle is more like overlays i love these like tinies these are so cute and you get a sort of bigger rounder icon i think this is probably why they were being sold off because i think this is an older format now um but yeah, so I'm not going to take them out because we're just going to be here forever. But I'll just kind of talk through what they are. So this one is a hollow and it's, I really like this format. It's like a star format with the bow. I think this is a really cute format. It's a very vibrant hollow. Um, then this one is a silver. This is gorgeous. It's like a sort of confetti 
format so this one i'm so excited to have i think that's absolutely stunning this one is really interesting let me just show you the bottom washi it's like a, a sort of heart format so this would be great for like a valentine's day spread so i think that's really cute as well then this one is also a silver and this one is a star format so again that is really gorgeous and then the rest of these are hollow so this one is a very sparkly hollow in a star format that is really cute to be fair like i know i'm not the biggest hollow fan but that is gorgeous um this one is also a sparkly hollow in like a sort of i think this is called the line bow format where it's a kind of it's a um yeah like a line bow rather than a thicker bow this is actually also gorgeous as well maybe i'm just turning over to hollow um this one is like a confetti format this hollow is very rainbowy um this is a bit maybe less of the hollow that I like, but still very cute. And then this one is a lime bow with lots of bows. That's really cute as well. To be honest, I will use them all, I'm sure. Um, so that is really, really cute. So that's loads of foils. It, sorry if you wanted to see them in more detail, but they're all kind of the same. So the last thing I want to show, oh, and I've just seen this was a freebie, I think with Two Worlds. This is a Once More With Love uh, Munchkin freebie that came with Two Worlds, I think. So the last thing is the April mystery. So um, if you if you don't want to see it, like thank you so much for watching this video up to this point. I love you. Goodbye. Um, so this is the last thing that, that you'll see. So uh, I'm giving you three, two, one. <laughs> three, two, one. Oh, okay. So this is the April 2021 mystery. So I'm not an SBC mystery sub because I. I'm trying not to commit to that because it's just a lot of money for me to spend <laughs> and I need to try and rein in my spending. But this format, so I saw it, Andrea did the video and I was like, that's a really cute format, like a really cute idea. But I was like, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and be strong and live without it. And as I was watching it, I was like, that box looks so much like a Rapunzel <laughs> before Andrea even said that this had Disney thrown into it. And then I was like, I'm gonna have to get it aren't I <laughs> and it's Jess art which again <sighs> just love it so it, this is really gorgeous it's like a kind of Edwardian themed um and Jess um when she talks about this kit does a really good explanation of what it is as she drew it so I'd recommend going and watching that but um yeah basically we've got like so this is Rapunzel this is the pug from Pocahontas um and then we've got like some Disney elements thrown in here so we've got like Ariel, Rapunzel, Tiana and Belle and like they are four of my favorite princesses um like especially Belle if you've been around like Belle is me <laughs> um Tiana I absolutely love like our girl so much worth work ethic Rapunzel is quite a close film to my heart because I saw it with my mom and we hated it the first time and then loved it the second time and I don't know it just reminds me of her um and then Ariel like I know that the, the storyline of Little Mermaid is questionable but I really like the songs like you know those things you see on Facebook where they're like um what song could you sing and get every single word right like for a million pounds or whatever like it probably is part of your world <laughs> um so yeah I, I really like Little Mermaid as well I actually prefer The Little Mermaid too though what a film <laughs> so yeah this is just gorgeous i love it um i you know i really like afternoon tea as well so i feel like there's probably multiple occasions when i could use this so that's really good um so i got this in the buy sell trade group um and i picked up the ultimate form ultimate format because of bell so i also didn't realize this one was coming with the foil which it's more hollow <laughs> So it's probably not something I needed, but I just wanted the kit and it was there and I was worried that loads of people would buy it up. So I just got it. Uh, but yeah, this is absolutely, it's just really stunning. So let's go through the rest of it because I haven't shown this format this time around. So yeah, look at Belle just looking so gorgeous there. Um, so the ultimate kit comes with just so many boxes. So we've got these square boxes, um, square boxes, rectangle boxes, some checklists, gorgeous deco. Uh, these flags are huge, but they are cute work labels monday to sundays the glitter headers are included so that page is the same as the mini kit format this page these items i'm i'm not a fan of so much like and i don't use these sorts of icons really but i am a big fan of a half box and um these size boxes so this is great then we've got uh this page add-on so like this one normally comes in the mystery i think the more patterned one or like a mixture of the two but anyway you get just so many boxes um in the ultimate and then we've got the bottom washi this blue wow because it's not really featured in the kit which is the pink orange green and purple so i love that the bottom washi is blue it's gorgeous um and then andrea has also included so this would be like your label add-on and then this would be your box um 
you're like you know you get additional so it's that blue and there's just so many boxes which is gorgeous and there are some extra boxes so maybe I could make this one last two weeks um so we've got Tiana here and Ariel looking so stunning and Jess was talking about like the colors and stuff she chose for Ariel and Jess I think you nailed it um so that's gorgeous then on this page we've got additional boxes so this is just like an extra person this wasn't um like a princess um some more boxes and you've got the label add on there then also included was matching doodles which as i said i'm a big fan of so those are adorable and then yeah the wiggle was this hollow one so yeah this is like the newer format of wiggle so uh because you get the bougie boxes so we've got the overlays so you get two pages of those two pages of bougie then you've got like scripts and icons and then it's a lime bow with a sparkle which is a really beautiful format so i i don't need more hollow foil but we won't, we won't talk about that so that is gorgeous so yeah that is actually everything that i have to show so uh let me just wrap up this video okay that is it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed as this is just svc i will link to svc down below um but yeah if you enjoyed this video i'd really appreciate a like if you haven't already i would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and you can also find me over on instagram at peace.love.plan otherwise i'll see you in my next video bye